Hello, hello, hello. It is Dolly. Welcome to my channel, Scrapping on the Go. This process video is for Mini Kit Monday with Becky, Kathy, and myself. And our May Mini Kit Monday host is our lovely founder, Becky. And she put together an inspiration poem that lists products to include in your May 2022 kit. This poem is listed over at our Facebook group site, and I will have the link listed below along with Kathy and Becky's channel. Now let's take a look at the products that I pre-selected for page kit number one, which will include one photograph. In the clear envelope are mix match of embellishments. Then I have a circle from Creative Memories. I have Vicki Booten modeling paste. Pixie ink from close to my heart, two stencils, and a spatula, a mint piece of cardstock that's probably eight by eight. Then I have a crepe paper, pattern paper with hearts on it, that's probably nine by ten. I chose two 12 by 12 papers that mint with off white little dashes, and then I have that flower pattern paper. The mint pattern paper I cut six by 12 and then the flower pattern paper I cut seven by 12 and I place that on top of the mint pattern paper. Now the heart pattern paper the opposite side is this mint colored paper with an off-white script of words and I use my creative memories medium circle die to cut out my circle. Next, I'm going to enhance my background by using the stencil, my ink, and the modeling paste. I'm going to start out with the plus signs, and I'm going to twist that stencil so that it looks like X's. And I'm going to use the pixie ink from close to my heart and smush that ink through the stencil up and down the two layers of pattern paper. Once I complete that process, then I get out a clear acetate sheet and I take the pixie ink, as you can see right now, and I smush it on that little acetate piece. Then I take the Vicky Booten modeling paste and I mix that all together to get this off white pink faded modeling paste color. If that makes any sense. And then I'm gonna take that Crafters Workshop stencil and use the right side with the coffee ring stains, circles, and stars. And I am going to go vertically up and down over those two pattern papers and over the inking that I've already done with the pixie ink. Then I'm going to bring in a clear, grungy looking type stamp of wide kind of lines you're going to see in a minute. It's been in my stash for a long time, so I don't know who the manufacturer of this stamp is. And I'm going to use the pewter ink from close to my heart. And I'm just going to randomly vertically go up and down my layout there between those two pattern papers. Why I'm just a little bit ahead of myself, let me remind you again to check out Becky and Kathy's channel. Their links will be listed below. I also now am add or adding splatters using the Wild Berry Shimmer Brush. And oh, this is when I add that random stamping using the pewter ink from close to my heart. Then I will bring over my photograph, which I have double matted in that mint cardstock paper and also using that heart pattern paper that I showed in the beginning. Oh, I guess before I did that, I decided I really want to go for the grungy look. So I took my Tim Holtz large scissors and I am roughing up the entire edge of my foundation layer. I forgot that I did that. 
All right, so there's my photograph, and I took that half circle. I mean, I took that circle, cut it in half, tucked it under my photograph, and then I'm using this older sticker from an older Close to My Heart collection, and I got my sticker on there, a little crooked, but I cannot lift it up without ruining that photograph, and that is the only photograph that I have of my son, my granddaughter, with their step-grandmother. You can see I tucked a frame over on the right hand side. This um, acrylic, well it's not really acrylic, um, like an enamel word that says a door that came from the Vicki Booten Wildflower and Honey collection. Then I added a wood veneer heart, I mean not heart, arrow. Um, I don't know where that puffy sticker of the truck with flowers came from. I'm going to say that's probably from a crepe paper collection. Right now I am layering up two stickers from a Maggie Home sticker book and I'm tucking that above the photograph so it is of a camera and then the other is a sticker that says day trip. I added a chipboard in the upper right hand corner that says perfect. And then another chipboard that is of um, with, like sitting out in a garden with two chairs and a table. That butterfly above the word adore came from the Vicki Booten Wildflower and Honey word phrases. And then I have these off pink hearts that I add over to the right of the photograph. And this layout is complete. It went really, really quick. I'm sorry if I spoke too fast. You can always rewind and replay this again. If I left something out and you need more information, just leave a comment below and I will get back with you. Here are the still shots or the still shots are coming up. And most of all, get out your photographs, get out your scrappy supplies, document those memories in a fun, creative way. Give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to go check out Becky and Kathy's channel and be subscribers to all of our channel and go check out our Facebook group site. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.